Hi, so I just wanted to share some tricks I have found in Koala. One is uh, how to, I was wondering how to um, double the length of one uh, pattern that I have already made. So because if I, for example, I'm going to copy this one to here just because and now I'm going to add, uh, I don't know, like two bars it's gonna create one uh, extra bar but it's gonna be empty so uh, one way I found to make it double is like this <laughs> So now I can record uh, something else here. One thing uh, also is, uh, well, this is something I like to uh, do uh, in this kind of apps of sampling, real-time sampling in and sequencing, is, for example, I'm gonna uh, uh, no, 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 cancel, let's, so first, I'm going to make it like in a real time situation. I'm going to choose this one. And then I explain how I do it. <laughs> So I, um, as you could see, I first I record an empty path. I uh, record some notes, then I delete the the sample. I record something, and uh, it uh, starts playing the the sound. You can do this also for a. Uh, kind of a live looping style using this uh, sequencer. I'm gonna first do it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
also is the same principle that I um, record first an empty note, an empty sample, then the note uh, holding it down, then you sample a loop, and uh, it will start playing it. Then you can also, I found that you can record the, you can resample the post effects. <laughs> So this is Koala, um, the only problem I have found is that um, it crashes when I, uh, recently I was making an improv and I uh, hit save as and it uh, crashed and I lost everything, so be careful and hope uh, the developer could uh, fix that. And, uh, but, uh, even though I have been getting a lot of fun with this and um, what else I think, well this, these are the, the input effects trimming, you have four banks how many patterns, well I mean one, two, three, four, four and uh, to choose the the keyboard how you can choose different kind of this uh, type of scales and what else the pitch oh also it crashes when I hit export loop and I haven't found a way to use it with MIDI in um, if you know how please tell me also, careful when you hit resample here. I haven't tried record song. I don't want to do it right now because I don't want to uh, lose what I have done. And I think that's it. 
I think it's worth it. I, I've been trying uh, this kind of apps since a long time, and I can I can say, and I can say it's a good one. So goodbye and have fun.